Nike Stage 4 curriculum is divided into four pathways. As part of the process, students are recommended a pathway based on feedback from their teachers. Students and parents have lots of opportunity to find out about the pathways on offer and the subjects that make up that specific pathway. We really wanted to make sure that student voice played a big part in it because we wanted to make sure that the students were getting everything that they needed to be supported in making such an important decision. The pathways are named after four inspirational women who excelled in their chosen area. They had the courage to challenge gender stereotypes, take risks and follow their dreams. These women represent the high aspirations we have for all of our students and the strength of character we need our students to demonstrate as they go to achieve their goals. I'm on the Angelou pathway and I do maths, English, combined science, PRE, music, drama and geography. So my pathway helps me because it's quite broad so I have different options to explore. So there's the educational side but there's also a creative side to it as well. The Angelou Pathway is named after Maya Angelou, who was not only a novelist and civil rights activist, but was also a dancer, director, producer and poet. In this pathway, students are given the option to select three subjects from the wide range of subjects that we offer at Sarah Bonnell, including languages, geography, history and the humanities subjects, the performing and creative arts, PE, technology, and computer sciences. Drama as a curriculum area provides students with the opportunity to explore playwrights and play texts. They get to devise drama with groups, but also um, the new curriculum is starting to think about how students might prepare for roles in a professional theatre context. So in Humanities we offer a number of GCSE subjects, so we have citizenship, sociology, geography and history. All the humanities subjects are different but we aim to develop a love of learning through students' curiosity. So all humanities subjects are about the world, what is going on around us and we believe that that really gets all students to become really curious about um, what is going on and as a result creates a love of learning. I am on the Warren pathway. This helped me feel brave and help me strive. I like um, ask them because it's help, um, helpful to r remind your head and try to understand to the teachers. The Rowling Pathway is named after J.K. Rowling, who overcomes significant challenges on her journey to become a successful novelist. The Rowling Pathway is an inclusive pathway for uh, students who can maybe not access the normal curriculum as such. But what we can do through that pathway is personalise it and we build in things like life skills, practical subjects, as well as the core literacy, and numeracy and science. The key to tailoring learning to suit the needs of the students is of course to know them well. In Access and Inclusion, we work hard to share information and strategies that work for specific students on a regular basis with staff. As English is a core subject, we teach both GCSE English Language and English Literature to our Key Stage 4 students. And because of the way we teach in Key Stage 3, with a focus of building skills in English and English Literature, we think our students are really prepared for the new GCSE syllabus by the time they get to Key Stage 4. And that transition to Key Stage 4 becomes a seamless and non-existent transition. Lessons are interactive with both collaborative and independent learning and students are also encouraged to uh, learn outside the classroom through research and independent inquiry. So the GCSE art course is based on the techniques that students learn at Key Stage 3. So they've already got a good foundation knowledge to take them into Key Stage 4. Knowledge about um, sculpture and ceramics, printmaking, drawing, photography um, and acrylic uh, painting and also watercolour painting. I'm doing the Curie pathway and I'm studying triple science, uh, history and Spanish. We had one-to-one -one conversations with teachers, we had people coming to talk about different careers and we had trips to show us what different careers would be like. I would like to study medicine in the future so by doing triple science I think it's, help, it's going to help me a lot. The Curie pathway is named after Marie Curie who was a chemist, physicist and one of the most famous scientists of her time. 
This is the most structured pathway and students who are recommended this pathway will have additional science lessons and will study triple science, leaving with three science GCSEs. It's designed to support students who wish to study science at post 16 and beyond. They will also continue on with the language that they studied at Key Stage 3 and then select from either geography or history. So most of our students have gone on to pursue courses in the medical field, such as in medicine, dentistry, nursing, as well as engineering and research related courses. And some of our students have also chosen to combine this science with non-scientific related courses such as in corporate law and designing. So there are no limitations to what you can study beyond your GCSE science. STEM incorporates science, technology, engineering and maths. Here at Sarah Burnell we encourage our girls to kind of collaborate on project-based learning activities. So by studying STEM further our girls gain key skills which include problem solving, analytical thinking and the ability to work independently. They're exposed to different STEM concepts and are offered fantastic opportunities to see and talk to women currently in the STEM field. Here at Sarah Bonnell, we offer a selection of languages to prepare women to live and work in the 21st century. We offer Arabic, French, Italian, Spanish and Urdu. We make the learning of these languages attractive, dynamic, vibrant, with activities and projects that stimulate creativity and challenge. So my pathway allows me to gain an EBAC suite so that includes English, maths, combined science, history and a language which is French and I also get to include a creative subject so that's music. The Hadid pathway is named after Dame Hadid who was an architect who had to overcome lots of challenges in a male dominated industry. Students who are recommended this pathway are given slightly more structure to their choices designed to guide them towards subjects that make up the EBAC suite. Students in this pathway will continue on with one of the languages they studied at Key Stage 3. They will also select to study either geography or history. Students are then given a free choice for their final subject from the wide range of subjects on offer. At Sarah Bennell, all students study RE as the RE plays an important role in preparing pupils for adult life, employment and lifelong learning. Uh, studying religion really deepens our understanding of others and ourselves um, where you know, students are able to really discuss those big questions in life, thinking philosophically, um, as well as really think about their own understanding. Um, it really helps shape that worldview, different religious worldviews as well as the different cult cultures that people may come from. The courses are designed, designed in such a way where we continually build on ideas and skill sets. The love of learning is instilled within students firstly and primarily through passionate teachers, passionate teachers with personality who tend to relate the context of the work delivered in class to real life situations uh, whereby students have the ability and possibility to refer to the academics uh, through resources found at their fingertips whether that be in class, worksheet resources, textbook or even online on different uh, on a variety of platforms. The key to our pathways is that every pathway leads to success.